Warning! Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. As you tumble into the flames, each of you take one ag damage, and I need you to roll for frenzy again. <laughs> Dragon ag. Ag is an X. So it, yeah, again? your first one's gonna be X, and then you're gonna mark another little superficial. Composure. Right. I don't have to add hunger to this or put the hunger on this. Uh, no. Okay, so you're good, but you're scrambling out of the flames. Yo. You've dropped to the ground. Uh, you're already frenzied. No. <laughs> you pull yourself from the fire. Starving, animalistic, fire bad, food good. You run over to one of the women. Well, that's being generous. <laughs> one of the girls. <laughs> you place your hand on the back of her neck. She's very clearly not breathing. She's very clearly dead. But the body is still warm. The blood has not gone inert. And embrace, with... Embrace, embrace, embrace. <laughs> with a sort of sexual lust, you extend your fangs and plunge into her flesh and just... begin wicking the sweet blood from her, her wound. Unfortunately, you're still at hunger one, so it doesn't actually remove anything from you because as she's already dead, you can't drain her entirely. You're just a sicko that wasted your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Our unconscious creatures willing in this addition. <laughs> Xavier, the staircase to the lower level is now completely fucking gone. You hear screaming from the restroom. You see these guys tumbling into flames and rolling out. Does the screaming sound like Andre? It does not. Okay, then I don't care. Uh, is there a basement? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Shut the Vampire thing out here. What sort of question is that? <laughs> I have to ask. Is there an attic? Can I make my way to that basement? Uh, it is downstairs. So... How would you like to get downstairs avoiding the fire? Uh, I'm assuming we're like on. Is there is it like a top level or is it just like entryway into or from where we came down to stairs? So there's like a, a balcony right with a railing, and there's a stairs on one side that lead down to the the dance floor. That's now gone. So you essentially have a balcony here, restrooms, uh, another balcony outside with a garden that you got came into through, and hole plummeting straight drop. I can actually, uh, I'm going to show you a pretty picture. I can't see that from here. Uh, well, that is actually what you're looking at. So here's the, here's the, the dance floor, mm -hmm. right? This is the staircase that collapsed. Mm -hmm. And then you guys are, like, up here. Oh, so that balcony, for, I think, from this I can just go down, right? Uh, that's the bar, but yeah, you can sort of drop. Oh, then I will do that. Okay, um... I'm not gonna make you roll for that. Actually, I will only because if you if you fail, you're going face first into a bucket of flames. So let's call that uh, dexterity athletics. So physical. That is physical. Oh. If he has a specialty in dexterity, he can apply it. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, two. Two. Okay, good enough. So you sort of vault the uh, the railing. It snaps under your weight, but you're dexterous enough to catch yourself and readjust as you land behind the bar. Flames climbing higher and higher, the guy still screaming desperately for help, holding on for dear life. Uh, behind you is a door that says kitchen. In front of you, wrecked dance floor, riot going on outside, and as a very, very surreal sort of division, you see Bruno skate, skate by tee. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your existence make people question if they're dreaming. <laughs> Are we sure he's not a fairy? <laughs> well, I mean, a changeling, sir. Uh, which way to the. I'm assuming through the kitchen? That is the only door that you see so far. Then I will go through the 
kitchen. All right, so you enter through the kitchen. A mere man's hour. <laughs> I, I still... <laughs> man's hour. I still have swiftness activated, no? Yes, for the entire scene. And there's a guy, like, trapped in the bathroom. It, sound, it certainly sounds that way. Would I... With swiftness activated, would I go, like... Like, shoulder bash the door open and then jump down after, um... Mr. M Mr. Uh, Mason, what's the numbers mean? I'll allow it. Uh, so you sort of go charging uh, through the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. You so you sort of shoulder open the, uh, the bathroom door. And as you turn to run, you sort of do a double take. You look into the men's room, and the entire bathroom is sort of on fire. Just flames up in the air. An eye beam from the roof has come down and is blocking the stall of whoever's trapped in there. And there's just bang, 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 help, help, please. <laughs> Dude, go under. <laughs> the floor's <is> down. <laughs> There's pee pee on the floor. <laughs> no, fucking do see the way that I do that. <laughs> I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather burn than touch pee pee with my hands. <laughs> and there's no one else up here, is there? I'm the last one. Uh, yeah. uh it does certainly seem that way. And somebody with humanity nine, but hmm. You disgustingly good creature. <laughs> oh man, if the GI GSG nine fucking see me in here, that's not gonna be good. Well, what are you doing? This man didn't like pee pee. So you put a whole on. What's your name? Uh, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce McGoose. <laughs> Bruce McWhitey. <laughs> uh, fucking I beam? Yeah. What's the stalls made out of? What are stalls typically made of? Like a, is it lightweight? Is it aluminum? Like a lightweight steel? Well, I mean, generally, it is on low. Like you said, this place was a grimy club, right? Yeah. So then, he like should be able to like climb over or it climb be, under. Might be borderline cardboard. Uh, I'm gonna say with the flames, he has no way of escaping on, on his own. He is basically surrounded by fire, and the door is blocked. The PP was flammable. <laughs> it was it was full of too much liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Just fire coming out of the toilet tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a clever idea. Make him summon a demon. <laughs> uh Alright. Would it be possible to break one of the one of the sinks? So that the water pressure, sh like, just like shoots at the, at the flames around his stall. I like that idea. Let's call that one. Hmm. Fuck! I, I, that, that's really good. Um, <laughs> let's make that uh, social stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess physical physique. Uh, but you're also aiming the water, like you're not just smashing the sink. That's a little Firearms. Okay, let's go with physical physique. Uh, difficulty two to get it out of the way. <laughs> Mental physique? <sighs> one eight, two eight, one ten, one seven, and I'm good on hunger, so four successes. Four successes. So you just sort of, with your heavy celerity, just <laughs> knock it away, bend the pipe, and water just rushes onto the floor, and slowly the flames douse. Great, uh, gratefully, this guy hits the ground and starts sloshing his way out, almost like a 
Oh, what do they call it? Like a low crawl That's a in the army? Crawl. A what? Combat crawl. Okay, whatever it is. He, but he's got this huge duffel bag, like a half-melted duffel bag of shit in his arms. And he runs up to you. Duncan, Duncan, shoot him. He sort of like grabs you, kisses you on the cheek, grabs a handful of shit from his duffel bag and jams it in one of your pockets. Runs past you. Follow me, follow me. Uh, back way in the cellar. Back way in the cellar, okay. There's a cellar. Okay. Where the fuck did the stairs go? <laughs> uh, Bruno. So you are, at this point, there's people around the cops, there's people around you jostling you, like hanging over you, pointing, and just, there's this gyrating pulse of life and humanity, and you can smell just blood being fired up and pumping through everyone. You have it, an erection. It's almost <laughs> beautiful. More than usual. Give me a composure roll. Is it current composure? Yes. Did you roll a hunger die? Doesn't matter. You didn't get a one. Uh, what's your? Com- uh, you're you're fine. So you're able to fight back the frenzy. What would you like to do now? So they're kind of they're they're arresting the anarchs and they're they're about to go into the building. Uh, or are the anarchs already completely arrested? The anarchs are arrested. Yes. Uh, they have been delayed from going in the building because now they have to contain a riot. And you, as you sort of like look to the the top of the roof, you can see that some of them are. Like what they call rappelling down from lines in a chopper, and one of them's like struggling with something. <laughs> like he's trying to pull something up from the roof, and he just can't get it. And one of his buddies comes and he pulls, and then one of his buddy comes and he pulls, and they just can't fucking pry <laughs> it up. And then they like motion for something from the chopper. I'm gonna point at like the dead body. I'm gonna point at the car. And I'm gonna be like, who did we elect here? Yeah, did we elect Angela Merkel or the Fuhrer? Oh, we're definitely like, going to be shown in Germany. <laughs> Dung and Black, we need to show them that the people have the power. <laughs> what are you actually trying to get them to I'm, do? I'm trying to go from riot to flipping cars over absolute anarchy. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> we don't need this to last more than the time we're in the club. I know, I'm just trying to make some extra security here. And to prevent a masquerade breach when they take these vampires in. Or we take him That's going to be hard. There are elite SWAT team members here, and these are just regular fucking people. But they're Europeans, and they love rioting, and they love against <laughs> authority. Give me social leadership. Difficulty five. Oh. If you succeed, the poodle guy joins in too. <laughs> I can't roll a five. I only have four social. Then you sort of like cry out ineffectually into the night and they're already pissed and your words just kind of fall on deaf and already enraged ears. Is there more alcohol on the head? Uh, uh, yeah, are you sure that Fuhrer comparison didn't lower the difficulty? <laughs> <laughs> you can get more alcohol and get them more drunk so that they lower the difficulty. And after we're done in here, we will move on to Dutch. We will move on to Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> and Poland. Dutch and your Colts. It's not a Colt. No, no, it's, well, it's, it's kind of. <sighs> if I can't do that, is there any chance I can start improvising a Molotov cocktail? There's every chance in the world. What are you going to do it with? Uh, I'm gonna try to go into the crowd and throw it right along the line where the police and the people are to try to create some confusion <laughs> and hope that incites a riot. Okay, um, but what are you gonna make it out of? Uh, the club blew up, right? It's, and there's well, other the stuff going still on. still there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a bottle of whiskey and make a Molotov cocktail. Okay. Uh, shit. Let's have you roll mental firearms. Or a bottle of Jaeger. How many successes? Make an actual Jaeger bomb. Not hard, yeah. <laughs> give me a one. If you botch, the, the fucking thing blows up in your face. Oh, hunger dice. I keep forgetting. <laughs> New mechanics. I have one dice and one hunger. <sighs> well, no. They don't detract from successes. They do not. One eight. So Ooh. you, uh, oh yeah, a bottle of whiskey, huh? Stick a, what, what, kind, what sort of, there's a, there's a, I feel like there's some funny answers here. Where do you get the cloth for it? Just like rip it off the guy uh, that's screaming in the fire. Yeah, probably. Just, just grab one of the girl's shirts or something while he's drinking out of it. Yeah, <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> she's not going to need this plus. It's trashy fashion rip, anyway. Rip off like 
rip rough part of her hair, stuff it into <laughs> <laughs> All right, you now have a lit Molotov cocktail. Nicholas Dietz, what are you doing? Uh, you see... Mason. Mason sort of charged through the kitchen door. Uh, there's a guy sort of ru- came running out of the bathroom, and you're looking dumbfounded at the stairs. You see this fucking sickening display happening. Me making You were lit like this too. <laughs> fucking Mel. This is not the time for this shit. He's fucking around. And, and try and come to my senses and remember where it is that the haven uh, is where I could possibly find Andrew. In the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I consider kicking Mel into the fire, but I say, no, I have to save Andre. Uh I run behind Mason, I believe, where he's heading okay. towards the basement. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure. Probably. So you guys, the the whole thing. at this point, just to make things easier, uh, doesn't necessarily say how long it would take to drain a human. They're mostly dead. So you sort of like come up in complete orgiastic bliss and realize I'm there's so- another one. Yeah, and then you're like, <laughs> 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 next to it. You literally have that ooh piece of candy moment. <laughs> <laughs> ooh piece of candy. Just that twiddling your fingers like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're also in a burning building, and Andre is in danger. The fuck are you gonna do? What are your priorities? Perhaps roll composure. To see. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you have sated your frenzy for the time. I just always oh, shoot into what I really want. To do. <laughs> I'll save you for later, <laughs> and I'll head into the kitchen. All right. Uh, so you sort of pull yourself. Off this uh, this chick, you walk the past the guy as his screams silence, and he falls to the ground dead. I should make you all roll humanity. I don't fucking care. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. So you guys, I saved a man's life. All right. So well, what, what are you gonna do? What's the thing that's happening? You gonna help the druggie down? I don't know if he's a druggie. I mean, it's highly a lot probable. What the fuck could he have shoved in your pocket that wasn't mine? Oh boy, C4! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I am not the terrorist. And then What's in his pocket? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his process! <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell that to United Airlines. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'm grabbing the dude and just like like jumping down. Okay. Uh, let's go with a. Uh, I'll give you also a dexterity athletic. No, dexterity athletics uh, difficulty one. Don't get your hunger die. Yeah, that's why that's always there. Yeah, I'm so glad ones don't detract. Three successes. Three successes. Yeah, you leap down, no problem. Uh, are you also headed through the, the doorway to the kitchen? No, well, this guy said something about the cellar. Wait. Yeah, that's right. And he is actually running through the doorway to the kitchen. All right, yeah. All right, so uh, as you guys sort of congregate there, you guys from behind, this strange-looking, maybe late 30s-looking dude, kind of trendy but in a sad kind of way, like, dude, you're trying too hard, you're way past your prime. He muscles past you, looks amazed for a second, reaches in the bag, stuffs something in your pocket, stuffs something in your pocket, and starts uh, charging away. Golden Gate's kitchen is really nothing but a beer and booze storage. All Eastern European smuggled vodka and sacked canisters of Weissbier and lager. Weissbier, sorry. Oh, fuck would kill me. A wide streak of blood is smeared across the concrete floor and goes downstairs to the st- cellar. A metal staircase leads down. The fire is not reached here yet, and it looks like the cellar is pitch black and silent. Where's Bruno? Uh, Bruno is... Uh, he. You saw him behind the bar making a Molotov cocktail. Oh, Bruno boy. <laughs> this way. This way, this way. Uh, you all are more than capable, yeah? I'm going to keep up with the distraction and make sure the police don't come <laughs> in the <laughs> I can't distract them! 
There's, a, there's more fire in the canal. We don't need to actually become terrorists. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like I got a really good thing going on out there. <laughs> Just come with me. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, you. No, you trust me. This is why you're a disappointment to me, Bruno boy. <laughs> put the, put the bottle down. You have a problem. <laughs> it's already on fire. <laughs> What do you do? You're gonna... Oh, is it my turn? Uh, essentially, are you, well, I'm just asking, are you gonna stick to your guns or are you gonna? I'm gonna have to stick to my guns on this one. There's four of them, I'm sure he's gonna be okay. Okay, uh, I will actually go to you because I kind of skipped your turn. So, this is, I was waiting to describe everything. What would you like to do first? Uh, I guess I'm pulling the blood trail down into the cellar. Okay, uh, again, pitch dark. What do you want to do here? Use my cell phone flashlight. Okay, kick-ass answer. I forgot we're not playing D&D &D and you don't need a torch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're in Europe. The flash is called the torch. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> we do need a torch. I'm sorry, Xavier. I get the torch. You get the flamen, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and the pads of Faust. All right. So you flick on your cell phone light, and the smeared vitae leads to a metal shelf, and you can see the blood trail sort of disappears under it. I guess we'll try to move it. Uh, you do know that there's a combination lock hidden in a poorly camouflaged electrical box. What's the combination? Uh, let's have you roll intelligence. Uh, or I'll tell you what. How about social socialize or intelligence socialize to uh, see if Andre or one of the other coterie that might know the combination might have told you. Just looking for a one success, but don't forget that hunger die. Hunger die. Three. The code is 1493. So you just quickly boop, 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 punch it in. The entire shelf pulls away. Inside, it looks somewhat like a panic room, you know, where somebody would go just to hide. On the ground, you find Andre's torpid body. He looks like just this young, strung out, dirty, clubber kid. It looks like he just managed to crawl inside, curl himself into a ball, and bleed out into torpor. Beside him is a suspiciously old, dead clubber woman in a skimpy, minimalist gray outfit that suits her sagging body poorly. And it looks like her wrists are just slashed completely open. And just blood leaks from her wrist to Andre's face. Uh, and next, Badu will go to we'll go to Bruno. I'm going to obfuscate too. Nobody can see you. You absolutely can obfuscate. Do I need to rouse the blood or anything like that? Yes, you do. How does that work? You check mark on rouse the blood, and at the end of the scene, you will roll your rouses to see if you get another hunger die. So is that just two check marks? No, it's just one. Well, you you already used rouse the blood for something already. No, not yet. Not yet? Then it's one. Okay. So I'm going to obfuscate and then like right on the line between where the police are and the crowd is pushing back, I'm going to throw the Molotov. Uh, you can do that. However, throwing the Molotov will break your obfuscate. Okay. Then I'm going to sort of, can I sort of smooth on into the crowd or is that going to break obfuscate as no, well? No, you can absolutely do that. People will uh, sort of divert their direction subconsciously to get out of your way. Okay, so I'm going to sort of move into the middle of the crowd and then throw the Molotov. Okay. Uh, let's go with Dexterity. Stealth. That's a good one. Yeah, we'll go with Dex Stealth. Or Physical Stealth. I did have the Hunger Die this time, and Ooh. it's a 10. One, two, three successes. Oh, is that what, the, what is that why it says dexterity on this sheet? Is yeah. that the specialty? Yeah, yeah. It says it's a specialty. Yes. Well, fuck me. Right so anytime anything that uses dexterity gives you one extra die. So you sort of just waltz into the middle of the crowd, and then huck the fucking Molotov like over your shoulder, and then still still scared. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like fuck the fascists, and then <laughs> and just fucking crazy bullshit anarchy <laughs> breaking out. GSG nine. There's there's like. Gunshots, police, freeze! Bullshit! 
Everything's gone to hell. Uh, you're up. Um, I assume I'm right there with Mason, and I see Andrea on the floor. Yes. Uh, as you get down behind you, and you'll realize this too, there does appear to be a locked door that leads back out, out the back of the Golden Gate and underneath the tracks of the train station. So yes, uh, you see Andre, you see this dead elderly woman in a, in a very skimpy outfit. I immediately go to Andre's side and try and pick him up and see if he's conscious. Uh, he is completely out. We need to save him. Is, uh, do I know that if I can save him by giving him any black blood? Uh, you can, but you have heard that it requires two full bodies worth to wake a sleeping kindred from torpor. Then I will lift this fucker and tell him Mason to lead the way. To where? Out the broken bag. Oh, okay. I was like, we want to go on a hunt for bodies? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we, after we get out the fuck out of here. And I, <laughs> yeah, we love. <laughs> All right, so you, you're you're down. You see Nick. Uh, you see him in front of this gaping hole in the wall. Andre, dead woman, bled out. He's got him in a in a fucking like bodyguard carry. What would you like to do? There's a locked door on the wall that leads out. And echoing from inside the club, you can hear what sounds like ripping metal. Would you pass me the delicious, delicious cola? Ah, uh, yes. The crisp, refreshing RC Cola? Absolutely. RC Cola is not going to sponsor us. <sighs> Someday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have the budget. <laughs> don't say that. We believe in Royal Crown Cola. Okay. Well, all they can do is provide itself for us. What are you going to do? <laughs> Only one more reason to sponsor us, Royal Crown. <laughs> and Wendy's, if you're noticing. <laughs> Go on. What you got? Um, I'm gonna um. So let, like, there's a like, there's a little back door as well, like behind yeah, in this. The back door, but it, it does have this heavy padlock hanging from the, the iron bar. Oh, I'm so glad to have this back in my possession. <laughs> I don't want nobody taking it. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just tell them, like, get through that door real quick as fast as we can, guys. Like, because uh, I can't only break down the door. Right? <laughs> I'm well, I, mean, I, I, can't, I can't break the door. I'm like, I can't do that shit. <laughs> you just came in here and just ate somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and she was already dead. And she, it's like, oh, I'm a Ventrue. I don't, I don't do things. I tell people to do things. Yeah, everybody wants you to. No, I will. I will do that when it's my turn. I'll pass my turn on to you then. <laughs> you don't have that ability. No, it's my venture ability. Like, you, you, you do the work. Yeah, do you, things. Do, do the work, Bruja. Huh? I'm gonna say it's your turn now. I kind of fucked up the order a little bit, but yeah. So you go. He, the venture, runs down clear venture fashion. Do this thing while <laughs> I stand here. Well, I, I guess, I assume I see uh, all this happening. Him carrying Andre. Yeah. Um, are you are you like deliberately in slow motion? <laughs> <laughs> in fast motion, I'm gonna run up and like wrestle him out of his arms. What, what, what the fuck? <laughs> are you, you going to allow how, that? You do not know how he likes to be carried. Yeah, I, I know exactly how he needs to be carried. Gingerly, That's a physical movie. brawl, contested roll. He likes it rough. No, he likes it tender. <laughs> <laughs> No hunger and oh lord, I got five willpower. Oh, I couldn't even beat you on a willpower. <laughs> <laughs> I can add potence. <laughs> yeah, if you rouse the blood, you get two free successes. I'm gonna rouse that blood, nigga, and spend a willpower point reroll. Hunger roll. Add a hand hunger to that. Yeah. How you don't many? add; it replaces. Replace. So you're. Uh, what is your your physical brawl? Physical brawl is four. Four. Okay, one of those is going to be hunger die. So yeah, cool. And then two automatic successes. So you need three. I'm praying real hard. You didn't get any successes. Hunger, hunger. No. Hunger. Hunger. Whatever, whatever hunger. The one, 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 one. Whatever the thing is, all no, successes. No, but ones. God damn it! That's four successes. Would you like to succeed at a cost? 
Yes. All right. Oh, so no. he is able to fend off. Wait, I want to. Sp- <laughs> Can I spend a willpower to reroll? You absolutely may. I will do that. Does the cost too high? Yeah, you guys one. are spending your willpower willy nilly. I know. They they can get it back easier in this rush. Oh, wait. <laughs> I now have seven successes. God damn it! <laughs> seven possible or that's seven total? Seven total. Oh. So he just like 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 a little kid holding a lollipop just snatches Andre from your hand. Let's roll composure. <laughs> Hunger die. Good. You, you, you know the beast flares up in you in a second. This, this deep primal possessiveness washes over as you reach out for Andre. You steal yourself as long as he gets out of here. That's all that's needed. This guy is very clearly stronger than you. Just make sure he's okay. Quickly. And I put him in a princess carry. <laughs> <laughs> or a bridal, sorry. Bridal carry. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, the princess the is over the shoulder. Yeah. My bad. No, bridal. <laughs> Bridal. Uh, okay. I guess I'm gonna try to open the goddamn door. All right, you're gonna open the you goddamn know. door. Wait, is that way to make him open the door? Uh, <laughs> do good. the thing you were gonna do anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I see, Mason. You found out what the numbers meant. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Difficulty three, dexterity, larceny, or strength, physique. We're all four to one. I will do the physique one. And the dark one will be my hunger guy. Mm-hmm. I will spend blow power. Are you spending it willy nilly? <laughs> and I will rouse my blood for that sweet, sweet potence. You get aroused. You're tense. Thank you. What what is the what's the duffel man guy doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, he is waiting for the door to open. Did anyone check their pockets? Uh, six. So you basically bash it open. The chain is ripped open. Lock goes flying off into yonder. The duffel bag jams something in your pocket and just hauls ass into a park that is underneath the train tracks of uh, the train station. <laughs> Zoom. Professor Zoom. The door is open. Well, I, I'm, I'm already through it. I'm right on his heels. I'm faster than you. But are you faster than me? Do you have celerity? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. As you you guys start rushing your way out, as the door swings shut behind you, you can hear like ting ting tink as something comes down the stairs. Pooh! Flashbang grenade goes off, but the flash is muted and just a flicker of light as the door slams shut behind it. You enter into a gray late night giving way to the purple of near dawn. Your hearts... Your hearts quiet down and stop as the need to pump blood to dead muscles fade, slowly ebbing away like a tide. (laughs) With that, that is the end of this scene. I want everyone to roll a number of dice equal to their blood roused. If we succeed, it's good, or if we succeed, it's bad. Checking. Then you don't roll shit, Adam. Like your home zero die. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure whether it's a fist pump or not. Me neither. (laughs) I haven't rolled yet. Uh, let's see. Josh is still in the crowd. I mean, I'm pretty sure once the riot started, I'm going to slink away. For every die that fails, add a new hunger die to your hunger dice pool. Oh. Okay, so we want to succeed on these. You items. want to succeed. Okay. Two Damn hungry. it. You got I another succeed. die? Yeah. How okay. hungry How'd you do? I got a five, so another hunger die. So another hunger? You got nothing? 
I'm good. I, I succeeded. Okay. Okay. You guys escape out of the club. You are racing against Dawn at this point. What do you do? Well, I imagine after the riot started, I started roller skating back to my haven. You're going back to your haven? Okay, that's fine. What about the rest of you guys? Get in your full flag and bust it. I actually use all of my background points to get Brody and three. <laughs> I'll suggest that we go to another one of the clubs that are on our blocks. Uh, how, how, how far is the sun from coming out? Uh, you don't have a whole lot of time, but you have enough time to get somewhere. So I can use yes. one of my allies. You do have a private room at Kit Kat. Not you personally, but the Oh, car. okay, I was just saying. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Amir, you dunk. <laughs> really, it's for Bruno. <laughs> we'll see how the I, I just watch. <laughs> Running like hell. <laughs> right, oh, uh, I'm going to check my pocket to see what he fucking put oh, in yeah, there. That's true. Uh, so you reach into your pocket, <laughs> and you feel something paper and something like like a bunch of hard individual pieces like getting crushed together in your hand and you pull out a bill for 50 euros like a like a dollar bill for 50 euros and this huge bag of molly like like the head of a mace just massive we must stop <laughs> says Toad as he found another molly <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's closer, uh, the, the techno club or Kit Kat? What uh, what techno club? As, as yeah, far as Tresor? three clubs, right? Yeah, Golden Gate, Tresor, and uh, yeah, Tresor. Kit Kat. Um, you guys do have individual havens, by the way. Okay, of those three, then my haven and the two clubs. Which one's the closest? Where is your haven? That's a good question. I don't know Berlin, Charlie. Neither do I. Uh, on the floating cloud castle <laughs> at the corner of Hitler and fucking <laughs> Daring Street. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. You tell me where you want it. I assume you'd have it in a nicer part of town. Probably? Yeah. So not here. I mean, we got 16 square blocks, yo. 17. That, that, that's our hunting grounds. Not necessarily our havens. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, if it's not in Friedrichshain, then any one of the clubs would be closer. Uh, I'm just going to say for fun, let's say Kit Kat. And to Kit Kat we go. Sweet. Yep. Going to Kit Kat. I'm absolutely following. Must ensure Andre's safety. Oh, Andre. How about you? Your stuff Where do you guys back to your What's your name? Well, would I think they'd go back to Kit Kat if it's close enough? Probably. Okay, then I'll probably go to Kit Kat. Just oh. rolling playing. Yeah, I'm. I'm probably already there when they get there. Just. <laughs> <laughs> so it's racing against the sun on my. <gasps> <laughs> it's like that scene from the Mummy where the sun is like right behind you and you're like rollerblading flamboyantly. <laughs> Nicholas boy, Andre needs something to drink. <laughs> we'll get him somebody in Kit Kat, yeah? I said Nicholas, not Bruno. Oh. Uh, fine. Let's see what I can do. Right now? Uh, along the way, uh, I search, make sure to look down the alleys and, and whatnot to see if I spot any uh, homeless. Uh, hey, hey, I'm 50 euros and a some. molly. <laughs> That's a great idea. We all have some. <laughs> How much is 50 euros in freedom? Uh, a euro is... Is it like a buck 25? Yeah. Preferably some sort of lady of the night who is willing to partay. If there's a lady of the night, she's... She's up late. Um, she's you're, probably tired. You're not gonna have time. Like, the the sun is coming up. As you as you escape through Dawn Berlin... Is there parents to you sort the sun? It's gonna be not as you sort of sort through the memories of going through that burning club and all the destruction, letting that poor bastard die, and uh, disgustingly feeding off of some dead chick. Uh, speaking of which, you are the only one that gets to take advantage of another one of V5's new mechanics. Blood does stuff now. Yeah, it always did. 
Thank you, Xavier. <laughs> Keeps the laugh. Do you have presents? Yes. Uh, Do you have gifts? I have, I have Molly. <laughs> you get plus two dice to your next use of Dread Gaze. Because of the abject fear in their blood. Hmm. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> It completely. Uh, Me too. Xavier pointed at, at Josh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dread gaze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wordplay. <laughs> um. I do like the thing that. I, I like the idea that your character is not gay, but he is just flamboyantly heterosexual. You're <laughs> just hetero. too hetero. You know, no. for the dance. <laughs> you love the gay culture, but you are not gay yourself. Mm -hmm. So as you race through Berlin, the, the sky growing ever more white, fading almost into the light blue, fire trucks race their way down the street past you towards the club. Police choppers boop, 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 overhead, soaring. Uh, people just stumbling to the street, weeping, mourning the attack. The entire city bathed in this... this shall we say, overcast light of, of the pale dawn just looks entirely bleak. And doubly so, since you're racing against your own immortality. Is there just one guy who's just like dazed this last terrorist attack and he's just like, for free chest, it's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't reached double digits in some world. Oh. This zero, this zero, this one zero again. <laughs> 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 Uh, as you guys arrive at Kit Kat, it is closed. Currently, they closed down since the terrorist attack. What are you guys going to do about that? Well, Charlie, we're going to go into the basement. I don't think the gay club has a basement. It's not a gay club. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sexy party. I will tell you something. Uh, since you guys stake out or come hunt here. Tomorrow is Revolver XXL night, which is all male gay night. And that is in the adventure. That is not me fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not gonna be there for that. We're gonna be there to not die. How is this door locked? Uh, electronically, and there's a security system. Um, How about the we... back door? <laughs> would would I know the... The <laughs> <laughs> not, not the back door, back door, but the back door. <laughs> the back door. Yeah. The rear entrance. The anus. I'll tell you what, just to move on, I'll let you guys slip in through the back. <laughs> and, uh, Hang on. Is, it, is it safe? Yeah, do, is do it we safe? have... Are, are we holding? Are we safe? Do we have protection? <laughs> yeah, dude, we got mollies. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not, he already he has a Molotov. <laughs> oh, he threw it. it he didn't. I accidentally made two. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled too well. All right, so you guys slip into your private room at Kit Kat. Sun rises. You guys, yeah, basically drop asleep on the floor of the sex club. Uh, your your Not mind's no. troubled with. Horrible nightmares, twisting images of the tongues of the dancing flames whipping themselves into a vortex, just consuming everything. You, you see the, the people dying. You see the last moments of the woman you drank from as she felt her insides just give under the impressive weight of the rubble. And you awaken. Uh, make sure you have erased all of your roused blood from the last scene, and you're gonna check one for waking. The blood roused? Yes. You must rouse the blood to waken for the night. Morning wood. What if I wanted to just stay asleep? <laughs> Forever. Rouse the blood. I fidgeted. <laughs> uh, that's that's another rouser. Damn it! <laughs> So you guys wake up as you sort of peer out of your 
<laughs> Private room. Yeah, Bruno's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I still I'm still holding. Andre in my private room. <laughs> well, no, it's one room. Oh, you guys okay. are rooming together. All right, I'm still holding. I'm, I'm sandwiching him with him. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Andre between us. Funny enough, Bruno is homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> the club is already in full swing of operation. You can the walls sort of vibrate. You hear the <laughs> my head. It's pounding. Uh, as you sort of like step out, there's a flat screen TV on the wall. It's in the middle of a, a news report. The footage shows GSG-9 agents just... The entire city looks like it's in complete lockdown. Airports, train stations, highways are being cordoned off. Bus stations patrolled by heavily armed police. Something. The headline on the bottom says something about a... Searching search continues for the fourth attacker. The newscaster says details on the attack are sketchy. The truck belonged to a moving company based in Hamburg and was reported stolen three days ago. The media and interviewees have already made up their uh, as they continue. They've kind of already made up their mind about, uh, despite the fact that no arrests have been made public. This is another ISIS-inspired Islamist attack. Of course, this goes directly against what you witnessed at the scene of the attack. They could have been following the path of heaven. Asmites. <laughs> but somebody's definitely behind a cover-up. Hmm. Anyway, so as you sort of look out onto the scene of Kit Kat, is a massive sex club open 24-7, so I guess you guys could, Well, they closed it for the terrorist attack. Now it's open 24-7. Three floors... Saunas, showers, and a great electro techno progressive house floor. <laughs> Did that trigger you? <laughs> so, again, tonight is Revolver XXL Night, a strict male gay night catering mostly to bears and cubs, but welcoming of all Shvula and their friends. I don't like the use of the word cub. <laughs> that might. <laughs> I think the term you're looking for is otter. <laughs> No, no, they said cubs. I know, but I think the term you're looking for is otter. Kit Kat is half empty tonight since the attacks have turned down the party spirit enough to make a difference. The crew that has made it out right now is pretty, pretty drunk. And the vibe is a bit off despite the heroic efforts from a large, happy hard body group dressed like Spartans from the movie 300. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they really went all out with that description. That's great. It's the Fleming effect. <laughs> Bruno, I'm gonna give you my Euros and Molly. Lure two of those men in here. You don't need to say it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do these. I'm gonna be like, why are you giving me your Molly? I already have plenty of Molly. <laughs> I don't need it. Did he ever give me some of the Josh? Well, well, no, no, he didn't. That's the joke. <laughs> like, you ever need to buy off it? someone, you'll have a brick of Molly. What am I gonna do with a brick of Molly? I can't do it! It's Europe! You can get anyone to agree with Molly! I was like, just give me the Molly. Who else has any Molly? Uh, uh, hold on to mine. I'm, you're gonna hold on to yours? Yeah. You're gonna give me the Molly? Mm. Or the room I'm soundproof? Just like, I, I'm caressing no. Andre's cheeks. Why? I'm so glad to uh, see Andre's Soundproof? Cheeks. No. A, it's muffled. But between the muffling and the boom, 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 they're not gonna be able to hear it. And my Bluetooth shit. speaker. Oh, yes, of course. I never got about that. What's playing on it now? Probably Dancing Queen by Abba. <laughs> as, they're, as they're handing me the molly, I don't know if you're... I'm going to ask you for your molly. I don't have any. Oh. You're a liar. I am a liar. But... <laughs> I see bulging out of your pants. No, I'm just happy to see you, Andre. <laughs> um... So when does the Song of Creation play on your head? <laughs> <laughs> You know, the root sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take whatever what two of you gave me Molly? Yeah. I'm gonna take their Molly their Molly as well as my Molly. I'm basically gonna start handing out on the dance floor. Okay. Cool shit. Uh what what about the rest of you guys? What are you guys gonna do? Uh I'm gonna wait in here because I don't know how cool people are with being eaten. 
Probably not very. So you're just like on the dance floor, like anyone who wants a party, follow me. Yeah, I'm just skating around. <laughs> Only two like... though. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> oh, my butthole has an image. We might actually only need one. Yeah, there's a drained lady band down there. Yeah, but she was also old, and I don't know how much blood she gave. That's it. He, he's at two full bodies. So if you want to count like half. So we want to bring one in just she in case. She might have looked old because she was like Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a Nassimite. No, that's not what I meant. Just look. Well, it said uh, her her wrists were slit. Yeah. Like so, she was cutting herself to give it to him. <laughs> we just left that fish there. Yeah, dude. We also probably left the thing open. It doesn't matter. We got away. <laughs> the consequences are beyond the scope of this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the nice part about that. We have the power of that meta. So, okay, what's what's everybody doing right now? You're gonna sit in the room, you're gonna go get some studs for Andre. Well, I'm, I'm handing out Molly to everybody. Okay. Uh, what's uh, what's Amir Mansour gonna do? Hmm. I'm just waiting for my childer to return with the bodies. Okay. Hmm. Just like cradling him. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to grab more of Andre as well. <laughs> you guys are being really weird about this. <laughs> He's Andre, man. Yeah, I, I, I like the guy too, but are we you have to get all grab ass. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, you're not supposed I'd to be married. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna okay, he like... could. Okay, stuff a sausage in your pants. Yeah, like you're you're not allowed in here. Tonight. I'm gonna put like I'm gonna like put my hair like like um like this down my shirt so it's only it's super long, and like just like flush look at the boys. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> these little cubs. Cubs, cubs, cubs that, Adam, they're grown men. No, the 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 cubs. That's not what that means. The Are you sure? They, a they bear. use cubs. <laughs> a bear is a large hairy gay man, while a cub is supposed to be a smaller version of that even though an otter is a more appropriate term. But they're both equally hairy. All right, so you get down to the, the dance floor, and there's this one dude, maybe early 40s, working the turntables. Uh, Does he recognize Bruno? Uh, I do have a following at the clubs, according to my backstory. You might. So you would, uh, actually, let's, let's roll a uh, social socialize. Oh man, do you just have like the collar and the bow tie? <laughs> and the stickers attached to the bow tie. That's two tens and a seven. Okay, three successes. Uh, so yeah, you would know this guy as DJ Clark Kent. <laughs> He's worshipped at this club. Secretly straight, but flirty and terribly busy. He hates rock music and goths. <laughs> and so you get down there, there's... DJ Clark Kent on ones and twos. There's this guy you've never seen before, right? And he's just sitting on a stool. And he looks like out of place, like he's interested. And every once in a while he'll glance over at the guys. And he's just kind of nursing this Cosmo and just doesn't quite know what to do with himself. Kill him. Uh, <laughs> there's a sort of dark skinned middle aged man. And he's talking with one of the, the Spartan dudes. Just, just this loud, booming laugh that almost defeats the speakers. And then there's these 12 big, burly, hot men. Mostly with, uh, mostly with beards and close-cropped hair and abs extra defined by body paint. They could be a soccer team. They could be cosplayers. They could be a stag party. No one knows since they stay in character all the time. They are all super party and are looking for well-trained men to join their last stand at Thermopylae. Uh, some of them have like these actual wooden spears and they're going around. Yeah! <laughs> Kick the Persians <laughs> out. I'm gonna go up to the weird, awkward guy. 
I'm just gonna sort of roller skate circles around him. I'm like, hey man, why are you looking so down? You admiring the dudes? What are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Get, oh, uh, get, get up on the dance floor. Have some fun. Oh, I, 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 I really can't. I, I, I don't know if this is a. I mean, this is kind of my first night among among people of my proclivities. <laughs> I'm like, then you came to the right place, and the right man found you. I'm roller skating. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you like doing like like circles backwards around? Him? That's yes. What I <laughs> I'm like, you need to loosen up a little. I say, holding up the molly in front of him. Well, what's that? I'm like, it's a super special fun time powder. Oh, I you just put a little in your drink. I, I don't know about that. I really, uh, I'm not really the type for uh, for drugs. If you loosen up your butthole. Hey, man, well, this is a non-judgmental zone. <laughs> I like how you how you do this to let me know that I am so actively roller skating around it. Like you just grab a bar stool. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> like he, he's actually not turning with you, so like you just like pop into his vision every so often. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, if if the big crowd is not your thing, I got a private group of guys which are kind of hanging out upstairs on our own. You know, more private, more intimate. You know, don't have to be in the big crowd. Ooh, social empathy. Social empathy. Social. I regrettably do not have empathy. What's the difficulty? Uh, for this guy, he's a little shy. Let's call it a two. Let's just be on the low side. Oh, still two successes. Okay. Uh, really? And he kind of sort of brightens up and looks a little bit. I don't know. I I I don't even know you. Uh, Look, man, you don't have to take the drugs. I'm just trying to, you know, welcome you to the community. Wow. I, are, are all the homosexual knights around here this this Whoa. welcome? <laughs> Who is it? Oh, homos! <laughs> this is a spot. This is yeah. a spot reason. <laughs> We're cosplayers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Comic Con. <laughs> be like, you know, we like to be welcoming. We know what it can be like to be, you know, ostracized and socially stigmatized. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, lead, lead the way, I guess. I, I don't know if I can keep up trying to make a joke, <laughs> a, a poor, poor joke at your roller skates as you literally I, skate circles around them. I want to see you go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I dance the whole way up there on the roller skates, just kind of... Doing it backwards? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do, wait, like doing like little like little hops? Yeah, little like hops <laughs> and kicks and things like that. And... Like, like... A 360 hop? Yeah, the like, I'm going up, and then I just, like, completely split, and then just pick myself back up and keep <laughs> dancing all the way up. Will the darkness. <laughs> we, are, we are now the rainbow in that darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dio. <laughs> Thank you, Dio. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so where are you watching the uh, the Cubs from? Uh, like, I guess when you get to the private room, is like upstairs or no? Yeah, we'll say it's on the second floor. That's how it kind of like, 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 just looking over the balcony. Like, is there a balcony? Or like, sure, yeah. Just, yeah. The balcony. Looking over there? Yeah. So, uh, you hear, oh, uh, hey, I, I didn't know they let women in the club. I, I triggered. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I don't really know how to, uh, I'm sorry, I, Peter, I, I'm a, I'm a little flustered here. How, how are you doing tonight? Clearly a torso. Hey, I'm, me, I'm Mia. I'm my arm. Mel. 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 I'm Mia. You do not have a snake tail. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a Samitsi. <laughs> oh. I'm Mel, it's, uh, it's one of my first times here too. Yeah? Uh, how'd you get in, if I, if I may ask? There's always a back door in the... <laughs> <laughs> in this kind of clothes. The back door is pretty easy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And, uh... I'm just here to watch and observe. Yeah, well, always a back door. That's what they say around here. Especially on tonight. <laughs> Come into a, a little room over here. It's uh... no, 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 one at a time. You just keep them busy. You keep them talking out there, and she's like, "What are those sounds like?" Oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Wait, oh, okay. I thought it was the same guy listening. Okay. Look, I know I just met you, and maybe I've had a little bit too much to drink. Can, you're, can I confide in you something here? You're, you're, you're the only woman in here. 
<laughs> I'm actually gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go ahead and spill the beans or whatever you actually have. Spill the strudel. I'm gonna spill the sauerkraut, dude. <laughs> the schnitzel. <laughs> I, I, I gotta be honest, I feel a little lost here. For I, I'm, I, I'm by. Okay, and I thought, you know, this would be fun and I would meet some new people, but I, I, I don't know if I'm you know, in my element around all the, the shvula. <laughs> then I come up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> I, I can see what you mean there. It's a little intimidating with um, people like this. <laughs> I mean, any homosexual would be intimidated by that. <laughs> He's not even gay. No, they're just like, I'll never be that gay. <laughs> Is there a reason you're just bi? Like, you want to just take... Is there a reason <laughs> you're just bi? Let Not it. pansexual? <laughs> I feel like you're really... Sh- just, you need to broaden your horizons. No, I was like, like um, you get that pan? How do you feel about necrophilia? Because <laughs> that's your gal. You can do it. Adam... Are you gonna suck another dick? <laughs> 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 it went into sucking dick again. <laughs> It'll be you. Here's Buck. I know one way to make you feel better. You're a little out of my strike zone, but I'll make an exception. <laughs> I feel bad for you. Uh, no. It doesn't work that way for me. You don't get baby oh. blowjobs? Well, that's not the character, okay? To, like, he's just the guy in a motel. He's just hanging out. Oh. Well, yeah. Flashbacks. Okay. LA 1940. <laughs> uh, so you just wanted some meet some meet some new people, huh? Like, right? Or I just Or you're just here for some fun. I uh, you got a suggestion? <laughs> Adam You keep putting yourself in this corner. Uh huh. And you keep working that corner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us for our B5 playtest. I hope you had fun watching us do things to it that were maybe questionable. Um, if you liked our videos, really please like weird. and subscribe. <laughs> check out our social media. Coming up pretty soon, we'll be heading out to Gen Con, so try and check that stuff out. We'll try and put some social media for you. Thank you. Stay caffeinated. Bye.